Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor, and welcome back to Who Wouldn't Why, the first episode of Season 3. And this time, we got two very popular PlayStation icons going up against each other. We got Crash Bandicoot going up against Spyro the Dragon. Now, I do want to make one thing perfectly clear, and that is I may not mention everything about these characters. One, because I didn't know a lot about these characters beforehand. Like, I did know some stuff, but not a ton of stuff, like most of the comic book characters that I talk about. And the, and the second reason is because there was a lot of stuff to remember for these characters, especially for Spyro. Oh my god, he has like a ton of powers. But anyway, the point is, if I if I forget to remember something, like, sorry, you know, if I forget to mention something, it's probably just because, you know, like, um, it's something minor, or something that I feel wouldn't really change the battle that much. So, um, I might not mention everything, but my my, my answer is still predetermined. Just, um, just imagine I already factored it in, because most likely I did read it, I just forgot to mention in the video. So, don't hate on me if I forgot to mention anything. Um, I'm still factoring everything in. Um, just, just thought I'd let you, all you guys know, because there's a lot of information to memorize, and I probably won't be able to fit it into everything, and I won't be able to remember it all, just putting that out there. So, but anyway, let's get into this fight. So, who'd win and why? Let's find out. So I'm gonna start off with Crash. So Crash is, um, compared to a regular human, he has enhanced strength, speed, endurance, durability, stamina, you know, he has, um, enhanced pretty much everything phys physical physically. Um, you know, like, in his physical stats, he has enhanced pretty much everything, so, um, that's pretty impressive, you know, um, he also is a pretty good hand-to-hand -hand fighter, um, he might not be the smartest of combatants, however, he has been shown, um, to be outsmarted a couple of times, um, but generally he is, um, he is kind-hearted, but he is pretty wacky, he's, he's, um, been shown to be, um, cause, you know, he has a cartoonish personality, um, he also might overlook some things, you know, I, I'm already getting into weakness as well. Um, but he also has been shown to outsmart some of his enemies who are actually in it for world domination and some of them, some of them are scientists. Plus he is a pretty good tactician in battle and he is looking for patterns in his opponent's fighting style and trying to see if he needs to or wants to exploit them. So that's pretty observant, you know, that's pretty observant of him, you know, it's, um, it's a pretty good, um, strategy in my opinion. Um, what else can he do? He also does have a lot of power-ups. I am going to be factoring in power-ups both for Crash and for Spyro, in case any of you guys were wondering. So for Crash, um, he does have a lot of power-ups to increase some of his abilities that he has, including his Cyclone Spin, I think it is, which is one of his signature attacks, which can hurt, um, an opponent if he touches, if he touches them, it can, like, I think, destroy crates, and it can also deflect projectiles, I think. That's what I read somewhere. Um, he also has his, like, Fruit Bazooka, I think, which fires fruit and it will hurt if it hits you um, but the main thing is that I think I read that he can't move while he's using it um, so that's something to keep in mind that he does have range with him but he can't, he doesn't have it like maybe as much as Spyro who can, who can like shoot fire from you know wherever um, just thought I mentioned that so you know he does have his fruit bazooka that's something cool um, he also has his belly flop which is a belly flop um, that does, it does do a lot of damage, actually. It, more damage to his opponent than it does to him. Um, and, you know, most of these things can be, um, increased with his power-ups that he gets. So, you know, that's, um, that's pretty interesting. I, most of his power-ups are to increase his signature abilities. Um, not all of them, but I think most of them are, um, generally do that. Um, those are the main things, I think, for Crash, you know, he also, oh, he also has an immunity to mind control, that's one of his, like, main powers, but, you know, I don't think it's that important to remember, um, again, there might be some things I'm forgetting about Crash, but those are the basics, you know, he's a good hand-to-hand -hand fighter, he might not be the smartest, but he is a, he's generally a good strategist, he's pretty strong, fast, I'm just repeating myself now, but I'm, I'm just trying to remember everything, um, he does have some signature abilities, and he, um, you know, he, he really likes to get in there, but he doesn't, um, he's, he sometimes, um, he, reper he prefers to, like, lay in the sun or whatever, um, but he is ready for a fight whenever he needs to fight, and he is kind-hearted, um, but he is a wacky character, obviously, like, cartoonish, um, and I pretty, I think, I, and, you know, he does have the power-ups to increase his signature abilities, I think I just repeated myself, like, a ton of times now, um, again, if I did forget anything, oh, sorry, if I did forget anything, then it either was, I didn't, fe either I didn't feel it was important enough to remember, or, you know, but again, everything is still factored in, even if I don't mention in the video, sorry if I forgot something, but anyway, if I, if I remember anything, I'll go back to it, but let's move on to Spyro. So Spyro I know slightly more about, because I've actually, um, played some of the Skylander games, um, so what, so about Spyro, so obviously he's a dragon, there have been some times shown where he can either glide and gets a power-up to fly for, for a short period of time, 
or he um or there have been some times where he can just fly. I'm going to give him the ability of true flight for this battle because realistically, why wouldn't he have that? Like in Skylanders, we've even seen like the intro video, I think, that he's able to fly and like just fly into um to a ton of enemies. And you know, realistically, if he's a dragon, why wouldn't he be able to fly? It's mainly I think the reason why he doesn't fly in the games or he might just glide is just because it he'd be able to travel so much quicker if he um if he was flying. So I'm going to give him the ability of true flight because I think that's really what he should have. Um, so obviously he's a dragon, he can fly, he does have his horns, which he can use to like, as, um, you know, to headbutt someone, um, he, he does use them as weapons, he can also use his tail and, um, paws very effectively in battle, so he's not, um, that, you know, if he actually has to fight someone, he's not that defenseless, um, he doesn't really have any, um, more, he doesn't really have, like, any enhanced, um, strength or speed, as from what I've seen, but he is pretty fast, especially in the air, from what I've seen, he's a very, um, good air combatant, and he can fly pretty fast, from what I've seen, when I've seen him flying, um, I think he also has this ability about, um, he, he has, like, access to, um, uh, like, other elements in his, um, in his world, which I believe in his world are, um, fire, earth, and then he has, like, two weird ones, like, electricity and ice, and not wind and water, not air and water. Instead, it's electricity and ice. So, with, um, with certain, um, like, power-ups, I think, or, like, um, power-up gate gateways or something, I don't know, um, but he's able, but I'm, I'm going to include them because I included all of Crash's power-ups. He gets the ability to have, like, ice breath, electricity breath. He has, like, some sort of variations of earth breath. Sometimes it's, like, this, um, green thing that comes out of his mouth. Like, I forget exactly what it does. Um, but, you know, he, like, you know, he has a ton of different, and he obviously has fire breath as well. Um, he also has some power-ups, which I think increase that, which I think one of them is, like, super flame or something, which increases the, um, the damage done by fire or something along the lines of that. Um, he also has this invincibility power-up that he has, you know, again, like, ice, ice breath, you know, one of those power-ups. Um, so not all these power-ups last forever, however, and, you, you know, from, a, they, they, they do last, like, they have a time limit. Um, but, you know, they, um, they are there, and I am including them. So he does have them for a limited amount of time, but he does need to know when to use them. Speaking of Spyro's personality, you know, Spyro is pretty cocky. He likes to, um, rush into fights. Sometimes he doesn't like to think, think things through completely. Um, though he isn't an idiot, he's probably a bit smarter than, um, than Crash is, and probably around... Um, they probably have their around the same level of strategy, um, and obviously, like, um, Spyro, I think he also has some sort of, like, time manipulation or something, does he? I, I could be completely wrong, but I thought I remembered something that he was able to, um, do something with time, like, he was able to almost, like, see attacks before they happen or something like that, or, like, slow down time to give, to allow him to, um, react quicker, something along the lines of that. I might be completely wrong about that, but that's something that, um, I read somewhere, um, that, that's, that's what I think. Um, he, again, he also has his horns, um, we have seen, you know, he shoots fire. Um, I, I feel like there was a lot more information that I had to remember for these, and there probably was, and I'm probably not mentioning as much information as I, as I probably should, uh, but those are the basics of the characters, and I think that's really all I need to know to give a definite, an like, a definitive answer um, in my own opinion, because again, if you're new to the show, just know that this is my own opinion. I do do research and I do like read certain things, but generally this is my opinion. It's not like what I say is not fact and you are allowed to debate in the comments, you know, as long as you like don't like yell at each other or anything, you are allowed to debate in the comments and you are allowed to say I'm wrong. Um, but, you know, I think I'm just going to move on to who I think would win for the main reasons, um, and if I think, and, you know, I'm just going to be done the information section. I think there was probably some things I should have mentioned, but if there was, I can't really remember them at this point, so let's just get into who I think would win. So, I honestly can see this fight going either way, you know, like, it, like depending on the situation, but this is more so trying to figure out who would win most of the time, and... It, Man, I feel like there's so much pressure on me because, like, this fight has been, like, talked about for a while. Um, so, you know, like, again, this is my opinion, but I'm trying to do, like, as best I can. Um, however, I personally think that Spyro would win. I think Spyro would be Crash. Um, and here, here are my reasoning for that. First of all, I'm going to get the power-up issue out of the way because some people might be thinking, well, how is that exactly going to work? And here's what I find. 
You know, Crash's power-ups, like I said before, they are mostly used to enhance his own abilities. You know, like the um the, the cyclone spin, the um the super like I think one of them is like a super sorry, a super belly flop. Um but you know, most of them are there to um enhance his own abilities and like make them more powerful, which doesn't really do much on the versatility level. But then we have Spyro, whose powers give him a ton more abilities, like you know, shooting um fire from shooting fire, you know, invincibility for a short for a shortened period of time, you know, ice breath, super flame, you know, he he gets more abilities with his power ups, and generally that makes him more versatile, and it just gives him more abilities to work with overall. Again, Spyro has so many abilities, his versa. He's so much more versatile than Crash, is basically what I'm trying to say. And the power-ups increase that. Um, but here's another main reason why I think Spyro would win this fight. Simply, like, him flying gives him a huge, a huge advantage. If you're able to fly and you have projectiles and the other person doesn't, then the other person is kind of screwed. Because what happens is that Spyro, he's able to, like, basically shoot fire from wherever he is in the air, or he could just, um, you know... Okay, first of all, yes, Crash is probably stronger, faster on land, and quite possibly more durable. I think even one of his feats is that he's been survived being ripped in half. Um, but we have seen that Spyro... No, that Crash has been able to, um... He has died from, um... From, like, fire or lava or something like that, just from touching it he has died, or it's either, like, he had, like, the game has ended or something like that, which is something specific that Spyro does have, and I see no, re even though he does have enhanced durability, it's more so for physical attacks, and I don't think that he'd be able to survive, um, Spyro's fire for that long, and yes, it w yes, Spyro might, like, he might get hurt in, like, because they, because again, Spyro, he likes to rush in, and he might get hurt a bit from Crash's physical strength. But Spyro has survived a lot, and I think that he would be able to survive enough punches for him to realize that, you know what, I gotta get out of here, I gotta stay safe, and, you know, he'd fly up in the air, and then he'd be able to hurt Crash without Crash being able to hurt him back. Yes, Crash does has, sorry, Crash does have some sort of um, range with his bazooka, but, you know, he can't move while he's using it, from what I've read, and that puts him at a huge disadvantage. Spyro's very fast in the air, and he can probably get around that, and it could leave a big opening if Spyro's fast enough and Crash can't react quickly enough. And plus, if Spyro gets any sort of power-up, like his invincibility, he, he could use that to his advantage and just, like, rush in, you know? And just to mention that Spyro's not completely defenseless when it comes to, like, hand-to-hand, -hand, because while Crash is probably a better hand-to-hand -hand combatant, and like I said, he's stronger, Spyro has been shown to effectively use his, um, use his tail and his horns and stuff like that to his advantage. And he does have a wing, um, a wing shield, but it's mostly used to, to um to deflect, no, not, not deflect, but project, um, protect from projectiles, which I guess could counter the bazooka, the bazooka, the fruit bazooka, anyway. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, so, I just think that if he gets any one of those power-ups, like, invincibility, he could use that to his advantage to quickly end Crash. If he gets Ice Breath, he could freeze Crash and have him, like, standing there. And then he could, like, use Fire Breath right after and then kill him. I just think that because Spyro, no, because, um, Crash is more so a person, he's more like a physically fit human, uh, for the most part, which, and he does have some abilities, like, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, his, um, cyclone spin can deflect projectiles, but he can't do that forever, you know, like, I know he doesn't seem to get dizzy, but he can't do that forever, and for the most part, like, Spyro could probably dodge it in the air if it's deflected right at him, and at one point, Crash is gonna have to kill Spyro. And I feel that if Spyro does play it safe, he could, he would just win. He would win from evading him, from avoiding him for long enough. In my opinion, I think that's what Spyro would and can do. Um, th are there instances where Crash would win? Yes, of course. If if Spyro like still wants to like rush in as much as he can and like just like take him head on, and then Crash's Crash's um physical strength would overpower him. But like I said, Spyro can take beatings. And he does have fire, which is one of Crash's specific weaknesses. And if he gets the right power-up, I think that he'd be able to um, end Crash pretty quickly. And while Crash's power-ups just enhance his own stuff, like his super belly flop or whatever, which, if Spyro's in the air, won't do much. But anyway, guys, that's how I view it personally. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, comment down below what I missed, what I should have said, anything like that. Um, I always want to know because I don't know everything about these characters. Um, so yeah, comment down, like, everything like that. And subscribe to my channel if you could. That'd be so nice. That would really help me out. And I just, I'd really appreciate it. I always appreciate the likes. And subscribing lets me know that you guys want more. 
So guys, that's all I got for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And next time on Who, Moon, and Why, we got Batman going up against Moon Knight. See you then.